as as a weeps. Raise the bomb, mother of a bomb, great. Oh, me, me, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Rex is doing well. I have not checked in on him recently. Hey, it's Cam. How's everybody doing today? Doing well myself, thanks. Here we go. We are into the quarterfinals, and I did real well. Uh, this is the worst round. I mean, I did uh, between the two uh, round of 16s. Halves, you know what I'm trying to say. I got one wrong in all four matches here, and uh, it was the one that I said was most likely going to be the upset, so I, would I really get it wrong? I don't know. I don't think so. I did, because I said I, the other person was going to win, but maybe not. Uh, starting us off, Diego Schwartzman just took out uh, Sanego. It was weird. I thought it was going to be a five-set match. Nah, not at all. Uh, Diego was like, I'm better than you, and I'm going to win. Sanego, I, I watched it. Oh, did I watch that one? Sorry, no, I watched the guest on team match. I didn't really see the Diego shorts a match. Uh, I woke up, and it was over. So good job, Diego. I had all the faith in the world in you. But I had a little bit of faith in Sanego. Poor guy. He goes up against Dominic Team, who... <sighs> This is the weirdest match all day. Five sets against Gaston. And it was, he, uh, first two sets, I, I don't want to say they were easy, uh, but he worked them pretty efficiently. Just one break held consolidated towards the end of the set so that there was no tiebreaker or anything and Gaston didn't really have time to fight back. But then all of a sudden, Gaston broke back late in the third set which team did the same thing. He broke it like 5-3 or 5-4-3. Uh, I don't know. He broke somewhere in the middle towards the end. And uh, then Gaston broke back, broke again, won at 7-5. And then the next set broke team a few times and was like every, not every game, but most games were a deuce. And it was like, oh, what what is going on? Took the four set 6-3 and then team just showed up again and walked over him. And it was like... So I don't know really what to expect in the Team Schwartzman match. Uh, I do have Dominic Team winning it in the end, but I'm nervous. This is between all four matches that are going on. This is definitely the second biggest question mark going on right now. <laughs> Wait, shoot. Yeah, yeah, I'll say second biggest question mark. There are a lot of question marks. The most obvious win is in the next match coming up right now, which is why I'm not really going to talk about... No, I'll talk about it a lot. But uh, more focus on this one in this half of the draw because the other one's going to be what I imagine a walkover. Team, yeah, just five sets against Gaston. Now, Gaston did play well, and he is a Frenchman at the French Open and a qualifier. So he has all this, like, story buildup behind him. It had to end somewhere. I'm just surprised. I'm not surprised it ended here. I knew it was going to end here. <sighs> no. God, i got to be careful with these. Uh, <laughs> five sets against Dominic Team, who's really solid on clay. Uh, really experienced player for a young player still. One-handed backhand. Uh, one of the strongest, not the strongest on the tour right now. And he's one of the best placement servers with the uh, he can still hit i think he's in like the top five for overall service speeds too so he's a he's a all-around solid player he's a th third seeded player overall my gosh can't talk words speak language english but i i do see him taking it against schwartzman just because Although Schwartzman has had all three set matches. The only one I don't know is the catch match. No, it is three sets, yeah. Uh, so, I love Schwartzman. Uh, he's ranked 13th, so he's he's got a really solid experience level going into this. Uh, he's not... He's a small guy. He's like 5'7", 5'6", 5'7", something. 
Team's like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, so it's not the largest. It's not like he's going against some uh, Nadal six-foot machine. or He's going against someone similarly sized, uh, and they're both solid clay players. So I don't know. Uh, this, uh, that's, this is the one where I really I, I want Schwartzman to win, and I want Team to win. I think Team's going to win, but at the same time, Schwartzman has just been bringing a level that no one has been able to keep up with. And he's also, I mean, other than Kitchmanovich early in the draw, he really hasn't seen too many high-ranked players. Kitchmanovich was 40-something, 41, then 157, then 106, and then 46. Whereas team has hit, uh, he hit Chilich in the first round, Jack Sock in the second round. Again, the rankings... Chilich was somewhere in the 50s, I think. Jack Sock is 310, so the seeds are in Schwartzman's favor, oddly enough. And then, what, Casper Rude was 28, so it does jump back up to team, but then Gaston was 238, so yeah, I don't know. Huh, this is a strange one. That's where the question mark is. Anyway, so that's it. You heard my ramblings on it. Now on to the second match where Yannick Sinner, well, this is the upset, took out Alexander Zverev. Oh no. But I said, you know, Zverev really wasn't looking that strong going into it, and it showed early. Um, and apparently he has COVID-like symptoms, so I hope he stays well through this. But come on, what are you doing, guy? Uh, overall, it was 6-3, 6-3, 4-6, 6-3 for Sinner. Efficient. And consistent too, six three six three for all his wins. Um, lost the one six four, which you can only imagine Zverev just worked really hard to break and consolidate. Didn't get to see it. Too bad. Um, the only thing that stinks for Sinner is he's going up against Rafa because he Rafa obviously beat Korda six one six one six two. It was close. Good job, Korda. Uh, I think I said that this might be the first one Rafa would lose a set, and that was mostly just because of how far it was. God, I really, I didn't think it would be that bad, but come on, Gorda, what are you doing? I didn't see it, so I don't need it. could have been really close in each game. It's a great thing about tennis. Could have all been deuce games, but you know say. Rafa is going to destroy Yannick Sinner, though. Uh, I think that... I want Yannick Sinner to win a set. I just don't think it's going to happen. Uh, I can't see. I mean, maybe. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything all that power. He did take a bagel off Gofan, I think, though. If he got six love on Gofan, which I'm pretty sure. Three sets. He got a bagel on Gofan? Uh, I don't know. Gofan's really tough on clay. Not a powerhouse like Nadal, but he's a really hard player. Hmm. 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 He was off, so I and no. I think Nadal's going to get it three sets. No question he'll win. Mm, I, I'm saying three sets is like a 98% probability. So good job for them. Uh, the second half, I'll talk about another video. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh, but in this round, I, that was the only one I got wrong, Yonic Center. And I kind of thought it was going to happen anyway, so I didn't really get it wrong. And I'm really killing it through these ones. I'm feeling good going into the last matches. Obviously, there are less matches to get wrong, but there are also less matches to get right. So I'm feeling pretty good, Cam. Um, also, a ton of pens, as I've said a lot. I'm very excited about this. And I'm probably going to get more tomorrow. Like, it's just going to be a pen kind of day. Hmm. I shouldn't throw this, but I'm going to throw this. So that's it. And I hope everyone has a really good Tuesday. Because it is Tuesday now. Um, I'll clean those up now, I think, actually. I think probably gonna have to. Good luck and prosper.